Day nine, hello. The topic of today's session is exec. I'm not sure, but I will write it down so you can see it in the video. And I might be in a position to cross over to the next style, so I will join these two so I can draw again a piece of washi tape and now I will use Susan Yeo's I'm not sure I'm pronouncing the name <laughs> right I'm sorry if I'm not and the instructions say start with um, five dots basically in a form of a cross but I'm not going to be super precise about it and I will draw these big rice shapes I know this is not um, perpendicular. I, I, I guess it's the word, but I don't care. And now I will extend each of these towards the right side. And they will grow like this. I don't know how far away I will start with three and then see what it looks like and then maybe come back and add some more and there is no law that says that you need to have the same number of these let's say them auras on each side This is a bit, this one's a bit weird. Now that I have these three, I will use another rice shape. I will just nest it between the ones that are already here. Again on each side. And here a part of it is hidden. That's fine. And I will do the same. So what I would just, you know, Mm, normally do is I would probably do this and then I would probably start by drawing a longer line initially and here this one is running outside of this borderline. I'm going to continue it here. And here these are not visible. So this is what the exact angle looks like more or less. I'm sure that each one of us will draw the same tangle with its own character. Even if we are following the same instructions. And that's the beauty of the entangle. And 
And now, since I didn't do it before, I will just draw an outline of the border. And then, of course, I will retrace it with my pen later. After I'm done with tangling, or more or less done. Now, since I broke out of this border here, I think I will just um, add just a few of my best friends Mocas. I'm thinking about adding another one that will extend right towards the border and I might even try to leave some empty space between these two. As I said, I'm kind of afraid of the empty space. So let's see if it's going to stay empty. But for now, at least. I'm quick at doing things and I like doing things quickly. So Zentangle has been a good school for me because I'm consciously trying to slow down, which is not always easy. And you probably know if you're familiar with the method that each line needs to be drawn with and intention and focus and there are no sketchy lines in Zentangle however because it's a part of my character of, of who I am it's not always easy to think about it and apply those principles especially if I'm for for any reason nervous or in a hurry and I have used Zentangle as a tool to ground me and to relax but still I tend to yeah I'm a quick tangler I'm, I'm quick I cannot escape it but I am trying consciously to be more present and mindful about what I do and how I do it. Which is the whole point. Not in judging yourself, but in just trying to be mindful about the decisions the actions and these small um, changes that you introduce in your daily routine or your drawing pre uh, practice can really influence your life in a profound way it doesn't happen overnight you might not even notice it but then you reflect and see it is it has been so um, let me just remind myself about the bigger picture here because I have to now make a decision about the shading of, of um, this tangle So I'm going to first add some shades below Zenith.
I would normally rotate my tile to draw these um, smiley shapes. I'm not sure why I'm not doing it now because just it's more convenient to continue without the rotation or turning the tile around. And I'm not sure that for you as a viewer it's comfortable to watch when I rotate my tile all the way like this. I might introduce some shades. Along some of these lines. husband and my dogs have returned or are just returning entering the yard parking the car so you might hear them now and I will have to take a pause <laughs> to see what happens next because I don't want to continue with too much noise But still, I cannot also commit to this daily practice uh, while thinking that everything will be perfect, that I will have perfect conditions each day. So I'm going to allow for some mess and noises that surround me. We have one daughter, but she's 19 and she has moved to another country and enrolled into university. So we don't have any small kids. And this is probably also why I have so much time for drawing. One of the reasons, but we do have two dogs to take care about and to listen while they bark. I have noticed that many of my fellow tanglers and CZTs have cats. Well, that's probably an easier choice than having dogs. I'm done with the shading and now the highlighting. So basically I will use the highlights where I haven't used the shades. Mm, I have a whole blog post and you can see it on my website. Um, about white pens and pencils and this charcoal white is one of my favorites. Sometimes I choose to use a white pencil, colored pencil instead of charcoal pencil, just because it's easier to be precise because it's, the tip is harder so it doesn't um, 
you don't spend it as easily and it's easier to be precise once you sharpen it it stays sharper for longer so if you want to see which are my favorite white pencils and white pens it's best to check out my blog post and also I mostly use Sakura's jelly roll when we talk about white gel pens I do have the Uniball signal but they leave kind of a bulky trace and you can scrape it off with your nail like this and I don't like that I think that jelly rolls and the papers that Zentangle chose for their tiles are really a great match but it really depends on your paper if you are working on a really smooth paper smooth surface then maybe the jelly rolls will not be as good as on these papers that have some texture oh. I will take a jelly roll 10 instead of 5 just to do some of these whitest highlights and details You have seen that I haven't blended my charcoal white too much. I just think that it's not necessary and if I can spare this paper from the blending torture <laughs> then I will always do it. Some more white to these Muka stems. And I like the way that this develops and you can see it's really unplanned it's really um, just growing organically the lines are flowing extending from one side to another it's really in line with Zentangle true Zentangle way of drawing there might not be a traditional string but still really grows be beautifully and that's it for the day is it nine thank you for being here with me and I'll see you tomorrow bye